The kindly spirit that enabled Elisha to exert a powerful influence over Israel is revealed in the story of his friendly relationship with a family living in Shunem. Pardon me, sir, but you... You are Elisha the prophet. I am, ma'am. You come frequently to the city of Shunem? As I go to and fro in the land, from city to city, bringing help and comfort to as many of Israel as I can, I do pass through Shunem quite often, yes. My husband and I, our entire household would be honored, sir, if you will come now and eat of our bread and be refreshed. Oh, I shall be delighted to, and thank you very kindly, ma'am. And it came to pass, each time that Elisha passed by, he turned in at the kindly family's dwelling and did eat of their bread. He's an unusual man, kind and perceiving, understanding. Oh, he's truly a man of God. I think I perceive a desire to do Elisha further favors. Yes. Well, just state your wish, my wife, and it shall come to pass. Well, he... Not only does he need a place to eat and be refreshed when he passes through our fair city, but he also needs a, a place to rest and study and meditate. Well, I thoroughly agree. We could build a small room against the west wall, a small room with an outside entrance so he can come and go at will in privacy. It's an excellent idea. In the room, we can put a bed and a table, a chair and a candle. Shall we? I pray of thee, my husband. Well, what about Gehazi, Elisha's servant? Where will he stay? Why not assign him a special permanent cot among our own servants' quarters? Well said, my dear. The room should be built immediately. Oh, this, this room is for me? For thee, Elisha, true and mighty prophet of the living God of heaven. I know not how to thank thee. Come often, sir, and stay long. And as for thee, Gehazi, servant to thy master, the prophet, a place among our servants has been prepared for your use. Thank you, great sir and master. And it came to pass on a certain day that Elisha turned into the little room and lay there. Gehazi, call the woman that I may speak with her. Yes, master. At thy service, Elisha, man of God. This room, it's a great blessing. It supplies me with many hours of rest and comfort, study and meditation. I would do something for thee in return. I have need of nothing, Elisha, sir. Well, perhaps a word to the king might result in increased influence among the Shunammites, or even a good word to the captain of the king's army. Oh, thank you, Elisha, sir. But I dwell among my own people and have need of nothing more than I already have. Gehazi, I, I feel that I must somehow return her thoughtful kindness, but how? Well, master, she hath no child, and her husband is old. Oh, call her. You wish a child, true? What childless woman doesn't? About this time next year, thou shalt bear a son. Nay, my lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto thine handmaid. It shall be as I have said. And it was as the prophet Elisha had promised. And when the child had grown into a goodly lad... Father! Father! Son, what are you doing here among the reapers? You're supposed to be with your mother. My head, my head, it hurts. Your face is pale. Are you ill, son? My head, my head. Oh, here, quickly, carry the lad to his mother. What happened to him? I know only that suddenly he ran to the field calling for you. Well, we better put him in bed. No, I'll hold him on my lap, close to my heart. Fetch a chair and sit near and gently rub his neck and head. Perchance it shall ease the pain. He is dead. Oh, how could he? I'll place him in Elisha's room on his bed. Whoa, whoa! Oh, 
There you are. Greetings, my lady. And what brings thee all the way to Mount Carmel? Is all well with thee? Why, why what are you doing? No, Gehazi, leave her alone. But, master, she has a tight hold on thy feet to do thee harm. Nay, Gehazi, her soul is vexed within her, and the Lord hath hid it from me and hath not told me. Did I ask thee, man of God, for a child? No. Did I desire a child? All childless women do, you said. And did I also ask you not to lie to me? Ah, your son. Is he dead? <laughs> Gehazi, take this my staff and go to the lad. Lay it upon him, upon the face of the child, and it shall As be... As the Lord liveth, Elisha, I will not leave thee until thou go with me to see my son. There he is, the son thou gavest me, dead. Please leave, all of you, that I may be alone with the lad. O Lord God of Israel, creator of the universe, father of all that is kind and good, show now thy mercy and power. Reward kindness with kindness, love with love. Give this woman of great love. What is he doing that takes so long? Have faith, my dear. Faith in what? Faith that good comes to those who obey and love the Lord. I want to see my son. Gehazi stands guard at the door. He won't even the let me in. The door is opening. Elisha, he's saying something to Gehazi. The master wishes you to enter now, your ladyship. I... Yes. Yes. I shall enter. Yes. Go in and take up thy son. My son. My son. Mother. You are alive. God is... Oh, my son, my son.